Hi everyone and welcome to another Doctor Who Series 6 figure review by me Mega Shots and as you can see today I'm not going to be reviewing a 5 inch figure from the Series 6 figure line but a brand new 10 inch figure which is the Toys R Us exclusive 10 inch 11th Doctor figure which comes with a sonic screwdriver. Now this 11th Doctor figure is shown as we saw him in The Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon with his blue bow tie, white shirt, brown tweed jacket, black trousers and also black shoes. I got this figure recently from Toys R Us, obviously seeing as it is a Toys R Us exclusive for £24.99. I think it is an absolutely fantastic addition to my collection, it's much better than I thought it would be. And before we go into taking a closer look at it, we're going to quickly take a look at the packaging he came with. Okay, so if we take a look at the front, we can see that the figure is in a transparent plastic bubble, which is surrounded by a blue time vortex with some information about the figure, the new Dot 2 logo, and obviously the name of the figure. On the sides, you've got a little bit more information about the figure, a picture of Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor and then on the back you've got some information about the 11th Doctor himself and a couple more pictures of him from the show including one where he's talking about dying in front of the impossible astronaut. Also gives you the usual product and company information at the bottom and some recycling and choking hazard information at the bottom side of the packaging. Okay, so that's it for the packaging. Really nice, like it a lot. And now we're going to take a look at the actual figure itself. Okay, so here we have the 10 inch 11th dots figure. Now because this figure is only 10 inches tall, it is not quite in scale with the 12 inch action figures from Doctor Who we saw back in 2007. However, it is in scale with the Her Majesty's Armed Forces figures, which are also 10 inches tall and are also by character options, by the way. As stated on the packaging, this figure comes with a sonic screwdriver and also fabric clothing. And now we're going to take a closer look at the detail paintwork and sculpting. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off by taking a look at the head sculpt as usual. Now, the head sculpt for this figure is very similar to the one that we saw with the Series 6 Way 2 11th Doctor figure from the 5 inch figure line. I think the facial features and the hairstyle are pretty much both exactly the same, but obviously because this figure's head sculpt is a bit bigger than the Series 6 Way 2 11th Doctor figure's head sculpt, it has a little more detail and a little more paintwork. If we take a look at the facial features up close, we can see that it has a really good likeness of Matt Smith. The eyebrows have been painted really nicely, and also the eyes with that nice little greeny blue colour in the pupils with the little black and white dots. The nose and the mouth have also been sculpted and painted very nicely. And I can also say the same for the hair, which does look really nice. I really like the way it comes over the side of his face. It's been painted dark brown on one layer and light brown on the top to bring out some of the nice detail and texture of his hair. And even some of the features that you wouldn't really take much notice of on this figure's head sculpt, like the ears have been sculpted and painted really nicely. And that just makes it look even better. I think this head sculpt is absolutely brilliant just the way it is. I don't think it needs any improvements whatsoever and I think if there is any more 10 inch 11th Doctor figures in the future then they should continue using this one. And when I say they I mean character options. Okay so that's it for the head sculpt for now and now we're going to start taking a look at his clothes. Okay so first of all we're going to take a look at the tweed jacket of this 10 inch 11th Doctor figure. Now I really like this tweed jacket. It looks and feels exactly like the one that he wore in Series 6 of Doctor Who. Well, it definitely looks and feels like the one he wore in The Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon. Um, the reason why I say only The Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon is because I think he changed his jacket quite a lot through Series 6. I believe the one 
he is wearing here is the exact same one that he wore in A Christmas Carol and possibly The Curse of the Black Spot and maybe The Doctor's Wife, but I'm not 100% sure about that. If we take a look at it up close, we can see that it's got some really nice detail, like the lapels at the top, which you can sort of roll up and roll down if you want. He's also got a pocket on the side here. You can't open it up though, which is a bit of a shame because I was hoping that if you had could open it up you could put the sonic screwdriver in there but sadly you can't but it still is really nice you've also got two more pockets down here got one on each side and on the sides we can see some orange and black stripes going down the jacket i think it's a bit of a shame there isn't any orange stripes going across the jacket like there normally is in the show but i still really like these stripes and i think they really do help to make the jacket look a bit more accurate and also a bit more interesting. Um, by the way, I really do like this dark greeny brown colour that was used for it. I think it's a really nice colour and it is a very nice colour for the jacket. And then if we take a look at the back of the jacket, we can see two elbow pads on the sleeves of this 11th Doctor figure. There is one on each sleeve. A really nice thing about them is the fact that they are actually made out of leather, I believe, making them even more lifelike than the ones we see on the 5 inch 11th Doctor figures, which are made out of plastic. And then finally, if we take a look on the inside of his tweed jacket, we can see that it is a bit lighter on the inside. There isn't actually any pockets inside it. I was hoping that there'd be one sort of around here where my finger is so you could put the sonic screwdriver in there but unfortunately there isn't but this is still a really nice feature of the figure i think it looks and feels absolutely brilliant and now we're going to take a look at his shirt okay so here we have the 11th doctor with his white shirt blue braces and blue bow tie Okay, so first of all, we're going to take a look at one of the coolest parts of the Lump Doctor figure's outfit, which is the little blue bow tie. Now, I really like the fact that on this figure, the bow tie is a dark blue colour, because the figure we got of the Lump Doctor from the Impossible Astronaut had a bow tie which was red instead of blue, which was the accurate colour, I believe. The bow tie isn't actually removable on this figure. Um, I was actually thinking it would be removable, but it is actually attached to the collar, so um, you can't really recreate those scenes where he takes off and puts his bow tie back on again. But um, to be honest, if I did take the bow tie off this figure, knowing me, I would probably lose it. So I am pretty glad that it is actually attached to the collar. If we take a look at the white shirt now, we can see that it is pretty much just a plain white shirt, there's not really much to say about it. There isn't actually buttons going down the middle, which I would thought would be present on this figure. Um, I do think the figure would have been a bit better if it did have some buttons going up the middle to make it look a bit more accurate and realistic. But the shirt is still really nice and if we take a look at the braces now, we can see that they go right over his shoulders and then cross over on the Back like they do in the episodes. Um, I was thinking when I saw the first pictures of this figure that the braces were a little bit too thin but now I have this figure I think they are just the right size and I hope that we see a variant in the future with red braces and also a red bow tie. Okay so that is pretty much all I have to say for the shirt, bow tie and braces. These are all brilliant features of the figure and I really like the fact that you can also take off the tweed jacket so you can recreate those scenes from series 6 where he did not have his jacket on. Okay so now we're going to take a look at his trousers and shoes. Okay so as usual the trousers are pretty much just black. Um, they don't actually have any detail on them though but they are made out of a really nice fabric which makes them very realistic and to be honest there's not much else I can say about the trousers I think they're just fine the way they are they're definitely the right size and the right accurate colour okay so if we take a look at his black shoes we can see that they are really nicely detailed and that they look very realistic they are mainly black but they do also have a light grey wash over the top which I think 
has been put onto the shoes to make them look a little bit dirty and maybe a bit old. The shoes have some really nice detail like the patterns on the sides and the laces which I believe are identical on both of the shoes. They are made from a rubbery plastic material and you can remove them so if you want to have an 11th Doctor figure without shoes then you can. Um, I think they are really nice the way they are, they look absolutely fantastic up close. Okay, so that is pretty much all I have to say for the detail, clothes and sculpting of this 11th Dots figure. Once again, I think the detail on this 11th Dots figure is absolutely fantastic, especially on that head sculpt which has a great likeness of Matt Smith with those really nicely painted facial features. The clothes are all absolutely brilliant. They feel and look really lifelike, especially the tweed jacket which has all those pockets, the orange and black stripes and the other bits of detail. I think the tweed jacket maybe could have been a bit better if it was a li little bit lighter to look a bit more accurate and maybe if it had a pocket on the inside so we could put the sonic screwdriver inside it. But it still is a great part of the figure and I think that it is great just the way it is. I think the shirt is absolutely brilliant as well. The only improvement I could say about that would be that it could be better if it had some buttons but every, every other item of the clothing on this figure is absolutely brilliant. Don't think the braces, bow tie or shoes nor trousers need any improvements because they are just fine the way they are in my opinion. Okay, articulation. His head can turn from side to side as well as go up and down because it is on a ball joint. The arms can go up and down from the shoulders and because they are ball jointed they can also move outwards so you can put them into regeneration poses. The arms can bend at two points on the elbows as well. The hands can turn 360 degrees as well as move up and down from the wrists. Lower body articulation, you can turn from the waist a bit. The legs can move outwards. The legs can move back and forwards on the top, bend at two places in the knees, swivel from near the top, and also the feet can turn 360 degrees as well as go up and down. So for articulation, this 11th Doctor figure is absolutely brilliant. It is absolutely covered in joints, which really do help with things like figure adventures, figure photography, and also stop motion animations really like all the different points of articulation we get on this figure especially the ball jointed head and the ball jointed arms which we don't normally see on the five inch figures there are no stiff joints on this figure at all so if you plan on getting this figure and you do get any time soon you don't need to worry about stiff joints on the figure obviously there are some features which can't do a full 360 degree turn like the arms but they don't really need to do a full 360 degree turn and to be honest, I think the articulation on this figure is absolutely fine the way it is. It doesn't need any improvements at all. You can put him into absolutely loads of poses. Okay, so that's all I have to say for the articulation of this figure. And now I'm going to give you a summary of my thoughts on this excellent 11th dot. So, overall, I think the 10-inch 11th dot figure is a brilliant addition to my top 2 figure collection. The detail on this figure is absolutely incredible, especially on that head sculpt with that great lightness of... Matt Smith, the detail on the clothing as well is absolutely fantastic. The clothes look and feel very accurate and lifelike. All the rest of the things about this figure are absolutely brilliant, including the sculpting and the paintwork. The only thing that I could say could have been better about this figure are maybe the shirt and the tweed jacket. I think the tweed jacket could have been better if it was maybe a bit lighter in its colour, um, and also maybe if it had a pocket on the inside that we could put the sonic screwdriver in and I think maybe the shirt could have been a bit better if it had some buttons going down the middle like the figures usually have but apart from those improvements I still think this figure is a fantastic addition to my collection as I said before and it is my favourite 11th Doctor figure of all time so far so if I was to give him a rating out of 10 I'd quite happily give him a 9 out of 10 he is a absolutely brilliant figure one that I would definitely recommend as a Christmas present to any Doctor Who fan out there that is currently interested 
in this figure, but as I said before, I think maybe it could have been a bit better if the shirt and the jacket were perhaps a little bit more detailed and a little more accurate. And that is pretty much all I have to say about the figure for now. And now we're going to take a look at his sonic screwdriver. Okay, so here we have the sonic screwdriver that this 11th Dots figure comes with. Now this is a really nice accessory. It is a closed version instead of an open version, by the way. We usually only get open versions with the 5 inch figures, so I think it's really nice that this one comes with a closed version instead. The detail on it is absolutely brilliant. It looks very accurate with those silver, gold, black and white sections. All the paintwork on it is absolutely brilliant. Can't see any paintwork problems on my one and it does fit into the 11th Doctor's right hand very nicely. If I was to give it a rating out of 5, I'd quite happily give it a 5 out of 5. A brilliant accessory and I hope that if there are any more versions of this figure made in the future that we see a open version of this accessory. Okay, so that is pretty much all I have to say for my review of the 10 inch Toys Us exclusive 11th Dots figure. I hope you've all enjoyed watching this review and if I have any more comments about this figure I will put them up in YouTube video annotations or in the comments section below. If you would like to share your thoughts about this figure please feel free to do so in the comments section below or video responses as well. I'm not sure what my next review is going to be but I shall let you know what it is very soon on my channel comment section which I normally update once a week at least. Thanks for watching YouTubers and Merry Christmas!